So I'm not gonna waste you guys' time and just get right into this video. Assassin's Cow is an exotic hunter helmet released during Shadow Keep and it has two abilities. That being power melee or finisher final blows ground invisibility and the aforementioned final blows also heal you. Additionally, power melee or finisher final blows against more powerful targets increase said effects. What you may not know is that the invisibility granted by Assassin's Cow counts as void invisibility. As such, it is able to stack with void fragments such as Echo of Persistence. Now with that in mind, performing finishers against yellow bar targets including Lucent, Hive, Guardians, and Champions can get you up to 23 seconds of invisibility as well as fully restoring your health. Here's a breakdown of how invisibility time varies based on each enemy as well as having Echo of Persistence equipped. One neat trick you can do is to let the duration of your invisibility reach the last 1-2 to two seconds before using Vanishing Step to refresh it. In essence, this allows you to double your invisibility duration. Here's an important note. Do not use Echo of Obscurity when using this build with Assassin's Cow, as the fragment for some reason overrides the effect of the exotic helmet, giving you only 7 seconds of invisibility rather than a full duration. As such, you should swap out this fragment for something else that may benefit your playstyle. In my opinion, using Assassin's Cow on PvE invalidates Graviton Forfeit, since Graviton adds a measly 2 seconds to every invisibility, to a maximum of 9 seconds on finishers, whereas Assassin's Cow adds anywhere from 7 to 16 seconds of invisibility, depending on the enemy type. Furthermore, the increased recovery on Graviton is underwhelming when compared to the instant health granting effects of Assassin's Cow.